Welcome to a special edition of Taekwondo Life Magazine Live. My name is Mark Surianis. I'm your host. I'm a third Don Black Belt, and I'm the editor-in-chief of Taekwondo Life Magazine. Taekwondo Life Magazine is a member of the Believe Sports Network. Believe is the number one sports and podcast network for professionals. Do you believe? Today our show deals with an unfolding story, a story that we've been involved in for quite some time. The story of probably one of the biggest fighting and entertainment scams in recent days. A, a, scanned and a scam and a scandal that's so large that it has the possibility to mar the reputation of a, a legendary fighter and to dramatically change the naivete with which people proceed to look at these events. Of course, I'm talking about the Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul exhibition match, which is, was scheduled for February 20th. Now, you know, when Mike Tyson came out with his Legends Only Sports League and he talked in 2020, he was going to fight Roy Jones Jr., two aged, successful, historic boxers were going to meet in the ring in something that had never been done, and it was not a sanctioned fight. People talked about the fact that it was really a scam, it was really a joke, no one was really going to get hurt, no one was really going to punch, there was going to be a no knockdown rule, uh, there was going to be no judges, there was going to be no decision of winner. They announced it was going to be on Triller. And as a result, there was a lot of speculation that it was not going to be anything but an attempt for these two guys to rake in some money. Well, that just wasn't the case. It was a serious fight. Tyson was well-trained. Roy Jones Jr. was well-trained. The entire event was worth watching. It was a great evening of entertainment. There were undercards there that were worth watching. But the fight itself, there were judges. There was the possibility of being knocked down. There was a scorecard. And there was the declaration of a winner. Yes, there were some modifications due to the age and time, the timing of the rounds, the number of the rounds. However, while I didn't agree with the decision, while I believe that Mike Tyson won that fight handily and that Roy Jones Jr. did not win more than one or two rounds at the most, probably just one round, and that a split decision was not a justifiable decision, it clearly was something where people got their money's worth, and it was sport, not just entertainment. It wasn't the WWE. It was a good, solid exhibition of fighting skills. As a result, there's talk now that Holyfield and Tyson will come back and will fight in another exhibition fight. And I believe that that will break all the records that Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson amassed, which was, I think that fight was the best selling pay-per-view event, certainly the best selling, -selling pay-per-view fight of all time and became so handily. I want to take a brief moment to talk about our newest sponsor, eBay. Whether rare, dead stock, or the latest release, find the exact shoe that you're looking for. As the original sneaker marketplace, eBay is the place to go to cop the pair you've been eyeballing. With eBay's authenticity guarantee, your sneakers are meticulously inspected by independent professional authenticators. A team of experienced Sneaker authenticators verify the box, the logo, the stitching, and dozens of other inspection points. Each sneaker also receives an authenticity guarantee tag that includes a digital stamp of authenticity, and it protects sellers with a verified return process. And if you're a sneaker seller out there, eBay has eliminated all selling fees on sneakers over $100, making it free to sell you or flip your collection. I want you to go to ebay.com slash sneakers today. That's ebay 
dot com slash sneakers. eBay is the world's best destination for discovering great value and unique selection. So how is this fight like the Tyson and Joy Roy Jones Jr. fight? What is the relationship between this fight and the Roy Jones Jr. fight? Well, if that fight was authentic, shouldn't this fight be authentic? Well, the relationship is that I think that Mayweather saw, particularly from the fact that his Logan Paul's brother, Jake Paul, was on the card fighting Nate Robinson, that these young YouTubers, these young YouTube sensations who have 25 and 30 million followers are a great way to promote. They also saw that using unconventional means such as Tyson used Triller, but these guys were planning on using Fanmio, was perhaps a great way to promote a fight. And as a result, excuse me, excuse my hand, as a result, they thought, hey, we're gonna we're gonna bring this uh, new form of fighting, this new form of promoting, and there'll be a lot of money on the table. So they went on to Fanmio. They set a date of February 20th. A lot of discussion about the fight. A lot of discussion was maybe negative, but some people would say no publicity is bad publicity, right? It's it's all good. It's all good to generate the talk. Oh, well, who's this Logan Paul? And why would Floyd May Mayweather fight him? And Floyd Mayweather has so much... There. Well, there's such a big difference in height. Obviously, it could never be a sanctioned fight. A difference in height, a difference in weight. They came up with an elaborate plan. Uh, different packages, different promotions, early bird pricing. And they started selling tickets. Well, several weeks ago, we reported. The rumor mill was out there that the fight was going to be postponed. Logan Paul had said, hey, it's going to be postponed five weeks. He had made that comment. We, as journalists, that's what we are. We're, we're sports journalists. We reached out. We're, we're on the press corps. We were approved to be on the press corps for fan mail, right? So if the fight was postponed, we should know about it. We heard nothing back from fan mail. We went to Logan Paul for an official statement. Nothing back from Logan Paul. We went to Mayweather Productions. Nothing from Mayweather Productions. They continued to sell tickets. Continued to, to have a countdown on the website. 14 days, 13 days to the fight, 9 days to the fight. Early bird special tickets, uh, $29 packages closed out. They then raised the price to $59, promoting it. Clearly having the date on it. But yet the rumors continued. I asked my friends, I asked my colleagues, have you seen any videos of anyone getting ready for this fight? Have you seen any promotion? The answer, no. Have you seen Floyd Mayweather getting ready? Is it Could he be so cavalier that he's not even training? Is his training possibly pro private? Is he, there's some secret in it that's involved? I don't know. Logan Paul, have you seen him? No. Tickets were being sold. Tickets were being sold. As of yesterday, I went on... It was less than a week till the fight. The fight is upcoming on Saturday. Is it possible that the fight is happening? Well, sometime between today and yesterday, the clever people at Fanmio removed the date of the fight. The fight no longer says February 20th. It no longer has a countdown. It's just there. It's deceiving. They're selling tickets. They're selling tickets at $59.95. They're continuing to promote the fight. But yet, there is not even a date that the fight is set for. They're selling tickets in a nebulous way. It is certainly deceptive. It is certainly immoral, in my opinion. And it's probably fraudulent and criminal. People are paying 
upwards of $30, upwards of $15. There are some people who want packages for $100 for autographs and shirts. And you may say they're going to get those things. But what good are those things? What good are memorabilia for a fight that doesn't happen? And I want you to understand that, do I understand that, do I understand that a fight can be postponed? Of course I do. It happens all the time. A fighter gets hurt. A fighter gets sick. A fighter, um, something happens with the venue. COVID happens. I get it. I was a, I had ringside seats back in the day in Madison Square Garden to see Tommy Gunn Morrison fight in a heavyweight title fight until it was announced that he was HIV positive. I'm somebody who understands that things can happen. But to have knowledge weeks ago, two to three weeks ago, that this fight was going to be canceled and to continue to sell tickets, to continue to promote the date, to continue to promote the countdown on your site that sells tickets, it is really, really disgraceful and it's a shame and I think they should stop selling tickets immediately until they have a date. I think they should offer people the, a, a refund and an explanation. And I think that there's discussion now rumbling around that the fight was canceled or postponed because of COVID. Other people are saying the fight was postponed because of low ticket sales. Other people are saying that Floyd Mayweather is having second thoughts because of the fact that it's considered to be such a joke in the boxing community. I don't know whether any of those things are true, but I didn't ask Floyd Mayweather to fight Logan Paul and vice versa. I didn't ask Fanmio to promote it. Those guys did it on their own. If they weren't ready to do it, they shouldn't have done it, but they certainly shouldn't continue to take people's money without having a fight or without having a plan and giving people the option. People should have the right to get their money back immediately as a result of that fight being canceled. And I'm very, very concerned about it. I wanted to bring it to the public's attention and I, we will be monitoring it. So that's what I know now. I will let you know what I know as things go. And we probably will do some sort of a broadcast on Saturday night because we have everything set up to do a broadcast from the fight. This episode, this special episode on the Mayweather Logan Fanmio scam is presented to you by eBay, the world's best destination for discovering great value and unique selection. My name is Mark Sorianis. I look forward to talking to you soon, and I look forward to seeing you in the Dojang.